Hello, this is Billy Corr from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Wednesday, March the 23rd of 2016. And you know what? Not fun. You know what causes me a great deal of discomfort and sorrow? Muscle spasms. Sure, they may sound fun for the whole family, but no, they are terrible. Anyway, basically what's going on, um, I woke up yesterday morning um, around 8 o'clock with quite possibly the worst possible pain I have ever experienced. And it was happening in the lower right part of my back. And it was just unbearable. I've never had that kind of pain before. And then a couple of hours, not really, not just a couple of hours, but like an hour later, it was all gone. So I fell asleep. And then woke up, felt fine. Then it came back around 7 p.m. with the worst, worse than ever. And then it went away again. And then today, it was still gone, but then at about 3 o'clock this afternoon, it came back with a vengeance for a few minutes. And it went away, and it's been gone ever since. I still feel a little twinge here and there. I have a feeling it'll probably come back. hope it doesn't, because for the next few days, I've got a lot of stuff I've got to do. And it, I can't afford to have muscle spasms. Which I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't. I don't have an actual diagnosis for it, but seeing that there are no organs where um, I'm having this pain at, pretty sure it's just muscle spasms, which is obviously the best case scenario. So um, I figured I would make a little video um, while I um, while I'm in between uh, muscle spasms, cause right as of right now I'm feeling okay. So let's move on with the actual subject of, my, of the video and not discuss my bodily functions. About two months ago, a friend and colleague of mine um, who goes by the name Bill, he has a YouTube channel here, he does like video mashups, he's really cool, um, I will put a link to his channel in either an annotation and or the video description so you can go check him out, but anyway he was kind enough to donate a um, piece of vintage computer technology to me. And um, we're going to take a look at it right now. And it comes in this really nice soothing leather case. And this, believe it or not, there is an actual computer in here. A full, uh, excuse me, full-fledged computer system in here. And we're going to check it out right now. Ah, here it is. If you don't know what this is, well, ladies and gentlemen, if this is the Radio Shack Tandy TRS-80 Model 100 portable computer from, let me bring it up here, Manufactured in, well, first manufactured at least, in 1983. This um, is based upon the um, Tandy TRS-80 um, computer system that was introduced in the late 1970s. Except this is obviously a lot more portable and compact. And it's got a pretty cool keyboard as well. <laughs> So, um, let's get the camera off the tripod. We can take a tour of the system. Okay, on top, top here we get the um, display. It's just, uh, it's, just mainly, it's just mainly for text, actually. So, um, it really can't display anything fancy. Get a low battery indicator. This runs off of um, actual alkaline batteries. I forget what kind. We'll take a look in a moment because I had to put batteries in it a few months ago when I first got it. Has a full-fledged keyboard. Kind of mushy but kind of cool at the same time. A um, 
somewhat United Kingdom style enter key and um, the um, function F keys or actual buttons instead of keys up top here and we'll take a look at the sides on the right side we get the um, power switch a um, adjustment for the brightness on the display a um, power jack connector which I do not have the power cord for this I, I can only use this off the batteries okay on the back we get a reset and we get the bigger version of the RS232C um, serial connection I need to get some kind of null modem cable for this so I can actually load up programs on here from a mo more modern system keep putting that off right now but it will happen someday you get a very special looking um, printer connector not sure what that's actually called you get a something called a phone connector um, possibly for a modem and you get a cassette connector I mean, for loading programs off of a cassette tape because believe it or not back in the 80's that was how a lot of people um, loaded programs on their computers and on the left side uh, you pull this cover off you get a um, connector um, this looks like a 9-pin RS-232 serial connector but it's actually not I forget what this is for I think it might be for like a special device like a maybe a printer or a or a uh, light pin I'm so prepared for this video guys <laughs> and you get two switches here one this is DIR and ACP the other one says ANS and or, or ORIG. Um, yes, disclaimer time once again. When it comes to computers made before the 90s, I hate to admit it, but I am what they call a noob. I really don't know as much as I should about them, especially a unique system like this. So. Throughout this video, you're going to see me say, you're going to hear me say a lot of stupid things, and I urge you, please don't be too hard on me. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the bottom. Uh, believe it or not, you got a switch here to turn part of the memory on or off, which is kind of interesting. And under here, um, I don't know what that is. Let's grab a. Uh, screwdriver from up here, a flathead, and see if we can pop this open. Oh, that's, this is the battery cover. It takes four standard um, AA batteries. These are the batteries I put in it back in January when I first got it. Presumably they still work. It's only been two months. And under here is a mystery. I've never actually opened this up here. Um, looks like we got some kind of um, some some type of um, ROM sockets in here. I guess for some kind of expansion. That's kind of interesting. Okay, and here's the uh, product codes and everything. The old Radio Shack logo. NFCC info. Okay, let's move over to my uh, ThinkPad over here. I have a um, Wikipedia article up because uh, I only go for the best here, folks. I have a Wikipedia article up about the Model 100. And we can um, go over the specs here. It's an 8-bit Intel 80C85 um, processor running at 2.4 megahertz. has um, 32 kilobytes of ROM... 8, 16, 24, or 32 kilobyte static RAM. Machines with less than 32 kilobytes can be expanded in 8 kilobyte increments. Has an 8 line 40 character LCD. And it's reflective, not backlit. Has 56 keys, 8 programmable function keys, and 4 dedicated command keys. Basic unit includes a built in 300 bald modem on the North American versions, which I believe that is. Parallel printer port, a serial communication port. 
barcode reader input. That's what that um, was. That look, looked almost like a nine pin serial connector. That was for a barcode reader. I remember someone telling me that. There we go. And a cassette audio tape um, connector and a real time clock. So, yeah, that's basics for it. Um, again, if you want to know more about this, I'm not the person to talk to. <laughs> but here's a picture of the insides of it, if it will um, load. Okay, okay. The left half, the left half is the back of it. So I've got a little ribbon cable right there. So yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> okay, now for what you've been waiting for. Let me put the camera back on the tripod, and we'll power it up. Okay, this is kind of an awkward angle I've got this set at because um, any other way you wouldn't be able to see it on video with the way it's positioned. But I've got it propped up against this um, old-fashioned Western Auto battery charger. <laughs> Been in my family for probably 30, 40 years, I bet. But anyway... Um, but for today, it's going to be a um, TRS-80 proper upper. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I forgot to bring this out here. This also came with a use, uh, the full user's manual, including um, basic commands with it. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and um, power it on. Oops, I was on the wrong side. Such a noob. All right. And there's a glare. Okay. And here's the main menu. This is um, made by Microsoft, apparently. This does keep date and time quite well. However, this is not Y2K compliant. Which you may notice right here, it's got March 23rd right, but notice that it's um, saying that it's the year 1916 instead of 2016. Yeah, kind of a problem there. <laughs> so, unfortunately, post-2000 um, dates, um, well, not really possible on here, unfortunately. But anyway... Um, this is pro, pro. I guess you could consider this the um, program launcher, and um, we can go into basic something called text, telecom, address, scheduler. Um, okay, uh, you can um, move through this menu with these little um, arrow buttons at the top. Let me turn the light off in here and see if that fixes anything for the screen. It does not. <laughs> It's worse, actually. Anyway, um, let's see what text does. Okay, it wants us to open a file to edit. Uh, okay, it just took us back out to the menu. Uh, telecom. I think this is to um, dial into like a bulletin board or something like that, which um, we're obviously not able to do, so we'll just... Uh, Figure out how to get out of here first. I'm a bit rusty. Okay. Okay, let's just do it the old fashioned way. Go. And um, something kind of interesting here, um, the numlock key is actually um, not, um, well, basically for the numlock key to work, um, you push it in and it stays in. Same thing with the caps lock key. This was before computers were smart enough to um, have software to know when these lock keys were um, initiated, so they had to pretty much stay in one place. I can't describe this stuff very good, can I? <laughs> okay, let's just head into basic. 
I do know a little bit about this. Um, okay, TRS-80 Model 100 software, copyright 1983 Microsoft. All right, let's uh, print something here. Not onto paper, obviously, but um, and we're just going to have to do it like this, unfortunately. Okay. Print. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, I did it. I told it to say hello, and it did that. All right. Now let's uh, try something else. Uh, yeah, if you type in beep, it'll beep. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Huh? 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 Come on! That's cool! Alright, I'll calm down now. Okay, let's uh, print something else. Uh, well, Easter's coming up, so... Print quotation. Happy Easter 1916. Because... It's the year 1916 now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I wonder if I can just, uh... Does that look better on camera? There we go, yeah. Okay, and that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge of basic. <laughs> basic programming. Or the basic programming language there. I... am pathetic, aren't I? <laughs> I've got such an awesome vintage computer from the early 1980s, a computer that's older than me, and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> but once I get a, um, a serial cable to hook it up to a more modern computer to load software onto it, and or a cassette interface to load software on, onto it, I'll be able to do a lot more of it then. Okay, we'll print something else here. Pain's coming back, I think. Print. Not a bad keyboard. Um, it's a little bit rubbery, but for what it is, it's kind of cool. Print quotation. Muscle spasms stick. I agree, TRS-80. I agree. So, I'm sorry I couldn't make this a more interesting video. Um, I'll probably be making another video of it someday when I know more about it and um, I've done more research and I'm more ready to make a real video about it. <laughs> but I hope this sufficed enough for you to enjoy and um, appreciate such a cool little classic computer from a time before I existed. <laughs> so... This is Billy Core before having another muscle spasm, signing off. <laughs>